let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Guys, today is a different video, okay? Today, we're gonna do a surgery on a fish. I'll tell you what fish it is, but I have to show you the crew first. It's about 10 o'clock at night. My hands are too big for these gloves. We have Dr. Linguini here. Bro, what are you drinking? Well, okay, your Nurse Linguini. Your surgical team. <laughs> we have Bigfoot over here behind the camera. Say hi, bro. <laughs> he like his way. Hey. And we have Dr. Lanny over here. He's actually a fireman paramedic, and he's going to be the fish doctor today, okay? I'm not a fish doctor. Linguini's not a fish doctor. But we got the tools ready. Lanny, you're going to introduce yourself and tell us what we're doing and using today? All right, let's see. Hold up. First, this here. is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here you go. Go ahead. These, these are not tools that we're going to be using. We don't, we're not going to use this? No. Right, sorry. What oh. is this? That's a PVC pipe. What is this? Oh, you said we have to... Um, no. No? The anesthesia? No, we do... You don't want to do an anesthesia dance? With no, anesthesia? we do med medication. That's all we need. Okay. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Something's not right, bro. That's not your hat. They take that off. I got a hat for you right here. These are my assistants, so That's we all got to... Okay, this is the first time this hat is going to be used. And I have a little secret for you, Linguini. Where is that secret? Check this out, guys. Who's this? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Come on, Linguini. That's perfect. Bro. Perfect, baby. You can take that hat home. <laughs> now it's official. Okay, so now you can wear this hat. There you go. All right. No, that's good. <laughs> All right, so, you guys ready? what are we doing today? All right, so what we're going to do is we got to correct some drop eye on an arowana. Uh, so basically, we're going to do fish anesthesia. Uh, we're going to get the fish, um, it's about what, 20 something inches? About 20, 22, yeah. So basically, we got to get them out. We'll put the anesthesia in there, get the bubbler going, put him to sleep, and try to correct his eye. And you've done this before? I have. And the fish lived? The fish lived. And put this the fish to sleep? Yes. yes. Wow. You can't be trashing around. It's official. We're not going to yeah. be like... You know. So I, I have done this before. I have some, you know, decent clients. They try to come every so often. So you know, All right, we'll so, fix them up. We'll do it. So guys, do if the work. you this fish lives and you want to make your arowana look pretty, Dr. Lanny here in the house will help you out. So let's sure. be real right now and show what we're using right here. So basically, we got um just regular scissors. These are basically a, like pedicure scissors. Oh, you know, manicure yeah. scissors. Some tweezers. Wait, you stole this from your girlfriend? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Your cuticles, looks like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we have uh, some clove oil. So you guys know. Bro, you are shaking, bro. Are you sure? <laughs> I, look, at, look at these steady hands. Like a rock. Exactly. I've done this a hundred times. We're, we're ready, bro. What am I missing yours? What, what happened here? Like the Hulk? You can't, you can't do surgery <laughs> like that. It's too excited and... We gotta we gotta keep a sterile environment. We gotta try to stay as clean as possible. No more beer. No more beer. Um, so you guys, you guys all ready? Yeah. So all the right. plan is we're gonna put the fish in here, put it to sleep. Yep. Bring it out of the water, and we have about three minutes to work on it. We got three minutes. We gotta move quick, and basically, uh, as we do it, I'll, I'll walk you guys through like some of the uh, the body parts and whatnot, the anatomy of the eye. Make sure we don't. Go make too crazy, mine. right? Well, just to make it clear, it's his fish, okay? It's We're, my uh, fish. Yeah, we might put it for sale later once the the, the ice is healed, right? Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't don't try this at home. All right, so let's get the fish and get this started. Let's go. Okay. So another another thing we do is uh, basically whenever you're gonna pull anything with a, a needle, this is what we kind of use. You go like this so that your hands aren't you don't end up poking yourself. So basically just kind of keep it like this and we're going to go, we need a total of five mLs or if it's on the table you could do the same thing and just kind of keep one hand steady so you don't poke yourself and we're going to drop it in. So right there we are at three, nope two and a half so we'll get a little more. All right, right there we're at three mLs and we're just going to go straight into the water. That definitely wasn't three. Let's see. There we go. That was about one ml, if anything. So we're gonna let it catch up. Oh, well, that's strong. Well, yeah. Like Christmas a little bit. Yeah, it's super strong. So right there, we're at three. 
Brenda says it smells like his dog medicine, flea medicine. Oh. She's alive. So what we got? We got about four mLs in there, right? Yes. So let's go one more. Let it catch up. All right, so that's about one right there. Now, if you go a little bit over or under, it should be fine. You just got to make sure that the fish is uh goes to sleep. If not, then you've done this before. You mad, bro? So who's next after this one? Yeah, that's uh, oh, your eyes a little. You don't want to try? <laughs> wow. That is yeah, it is super strong. So it's definitely good. Uh, a bubbler or a little power head right there, that'll, that'll work pretty good because you basically want it to mix in the water well and circulate everything. There you go. And you can see the oil sitting on the top, but it's going to work. It'll be fine and then we'll get this guy going. And uh, so you're, you're good. If you're we're, we're ready, we're ready. I need my assistant to go grab a uh, Arawandi. Which, uh, which assistant, the nurse or the... the? This is the respiratory therapist we got. Oh, okay. Mouth to mouth. You good at it? You good at it? <laughs> we can't say, wait, this is a serious job. This is. We'll do the free over there. You need a net, no? Yeah. Okay. Is uh, it? Net. Master, please, rub a net full of holes. You want the you want the mic? The knife? The mic? Oh no, they can't hear me. Ice cream. Okay. Guys. Always yes. sterile is very important here. Yes, my look. This, very you're not very sterile right now, but it's all right. I'm always no, I'm not sterile. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we'll do is also like if you look at some of the, the fins here, I'm not too happy with it. So we'll clean it up. We'll make them uh grow when they heal up, they're gonna grow a lot nicer. The, the fins will fan out nicely. We'll fix the, the eye. And, uh, yeah. The barbs should grow back. It's when you transport it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, her barbs were, uh, didn't okay. do too hot. That, All right, yeah, we're going to have to use that That's the that same now. stuff that's in, like, my, my dog does, like, a natural. Actually, you know like, what? Yeah. I'll do it with a bag. I'll do it with a bag. That's the best way to move an arrow Where'd you learn that from? Asians. Oh. Listen, you guys. This We're the is, fish guy. We're this is very fish. important for you guys right now, okay? Yeah. Rod, you cannot mess this up. I'm, I'm trust me, bro. I, I live for these moments like this. Okay. <laughs> so Ling Linguini's got your back. I know. No, don't get my back. Get the fish. <laughs> but the only problem is I don't want to scoop him because he might fly right out of the sink. He seems to be okay. Hopefully he survives this uh, that that fall. Um, so basically now um, we did try. We tried. We should have used a net probably though. I didn't want to mess. But up. I thought you've done that before. <laughs> Bro, I wasn't expecting to look at me with a good eye. All right, so we got it. We got him in here. So we basically just wait. Oh, he's got a some of the scales came off there. Yeah. That'll grow back nicely. Well, he's a pretty though. healthy fish, so I think he'll be okay. So basically, he's going to go belly up soon. And uh, I'm going to need you guys. My, oh. my oh. assistants, there he goes. He's going. All right. Let's see it right there? Almost, almost. Hold on. Let's make sure we have no more movement. See, can, he's, can this kill them or no? If they stay in here long enough, it could. So what most people do, this is like humane way to euthanize, euthanize a fish, yeah. So right now, let's see if it fights us at all. Still a little bit. So we'll give it us another minute. It's almost, it's almost there, so. All right, 
still give it maybe another 30 seconds and then basically what we're gonna do is you guys uh will bring it out put it right here on the table with the on the affected eye okay so it's easier for me are right, you guys ready yes that's fine actually i like it this way better so what we're gonna do right here it's super slimy but we're gonna have to cut behind the sack you might get a little bit of water coming out that's normal we just got to open it up so we can see all the fatty tissue back there there you go you see all that yeah now uh can somebody pass me some tweezers hold on i'm gonna need a another hand basically so try to put the yep hold the eye down for me now i'm gonna take my glove off because it's a little bit uh Yep. So from here, we just try to grab as much of the, the fatty tissue as we can, and we just cut away. If there's another pair, of here, use these. And I'll use this one. See if you can kind of grab, yep, right there. Pinch a little bit. It's okay. So we're going and we're just clipping away at some of the fatty tissue right there. And you can tell the difference because it's all white. So all this has to come out. And these are good because they're curved. So you can get in there real nice and deep without affecting the, the arowana's eye. All right, see if we can go back a little bit. Let it go. So there's a lot of slime on them. But if you can see just right now from just that little bit, you see the difference right there, yep. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up his fins. I'm gonna take these gloves off because he's slippery. So to clean up the fins, all these, let me get these longer ones. All these right here, we're just gonna make them a little bit prettier. So you go right in between 
all the uh, the fins. You're not cutting the actual cartilage. We're just spreading it. If somebody, uh, uh, my respiratory therapist, yeah, uh, come and hold his fins up, and if you spread them out, I could do it a little bit faster. So try to, yep, just like that. And I'll just go down the line. Now we're not gonna do all of them, we're gonna do most of them. And you wanna be kinda careful here because you don't wanna cut all those fins. Those will take a lot longer to grow back. And they, they don't have any nerves here, so once he gets back in the water and we kinda revive him, I'm gonna do the tail now. He's got a lot of slime on him. We'll fan out the tail real nice. And you'll see as this one, uh, as it grows, it'll be a lot, a lot prettier. Hey, Doc. Yes, sir. Should we uh, try to put him back in the water? No, nah, he'll be all right for now. Let's just kind of clean up some of these. You see how they kind of grew a little bit? How are we looking? Yep, let's see. All right. So now we need to revive them in different water? Yep. So right now I'm just putting them back in here. And then are you going to, you and Linguini got to get ready over there on that end. To put them back in that tank? Or we, you wanna we got to put them back in the tank and then we got to keep them upright. Okay, Linguini, you ready? I'm gonna drop you again. You got it? When you do that, too, try to push his eye in a little bit more and just kind of get it back to the normal position. All the slime, look at all the slime coming off. Yeah. That's, That's from. Why eye's back still, no? Yeah. A lot of it is gonna is gonna come out in like the next couple of days. Wow, that was a little dense. A little bit. I'm sweating. Ah. And a lot of the uh, the clove oil probably you know stresses them out a little bit so that it produces a lot more slime. Yeah. He'll come back around though. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Look, look, look yeah. fat. That's, that's probably a little bit of fat behind you. Yeah. yeah. So basically we got, and if you saw, there was a lot of like, like fluid. You know, that was the big part. Yeah, I remember popping right out. Right. So basically, um, the, uh, all that will come back. You know, I mean, this is, it's never like a hundred percent guarantee. Uh -huh. Um, but it's definitely, uh, helps make the fish look a lot better right you know and it's probably even better for the fish where they'll be able to see better right. can you imagine looking forward and have one die down like one it, eye it kind of sucks yeah. yeah and even you know a lot of people think that this is pretty stressful for the fish but it's really not i mean they'll come back around and i've done this to other fish before and it's not so, as so so clove, clove oil you said right yeah but that it only has, works for fish or other animals too uh as far as i know Fish. Fish, yeah. But I mean, you have to, it has to be to the point where you're, uh, you know, you get your dosing right and it has to be 100% clove. So any other fish, like I had a red tail that I've done it before. We swallowed the, the actual plant. And you open them up, right? Open them up. We, we cut the plant out. Uh, but red tail, you know, they didn't have as much of the slime. Is your live thing ready? I'll give him a minute, he'll come. How's his eye looking?
All right, guys, see, Winnie's going to try to bring their owner back to life. We're out here hoping. Don Delaney said that this is a normal procedure. So let's hope for the best. We'll see you in a little bit. You can, you can, let's, let's leave the rest for a little bit. The baby's still in there. A lot of weight there, a lot of muscles. Go ahead, go in the room. I'll call you when he's swimming again. Check it out, man. Check it out. Darren Warner's coming around again. Look at the tail. It's amazing. It looks like literally it was doped. And now he's waiting. He might bite you, Linguini. Watch out. Oh. Probably tastes like Linguini. Wow, that's crazy how that knocked him out so fast. Yeah. Looks like us coming up from anesthesia. It's like a real time surgery. Where was the eye? Was the other side? It's the other side, but it's normal. Let's see. Move it over this way. Let's see on the camera. Hold on. He's not letting me do that. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get, get him back. There was a lot of juice behind that there eye. There was a lot of juice. So basically, I mean, a lot of people say it's fatty deposits, which is, it's wow. it's a chance, you know. There was There was fat, fat yeah. There was but there was fat. a lot of water, a lot of liquid. Definitely a lot of, definitely a lot of fluid yeah. in there. Um, you know what, what my question is? How does that much fluid get in there, stuck in there? Yeah. You know, we would have to... We would have to get uh, x-rays to take to a yeah. CT, you know? Well, we, so, don't, we don't have all that equipment here. So, so Bigfoot, what, what did you think about the surgery? I think it was pretty good. I mean, it went pretty smooth. Besides so, my uh, air one and catching skills? Yeah, that was a little on the rough side, but other than that, well, I, I we're think... We're all prepared. We got our surgery cast. We got our gloves. We were, I mean, we I think I, I, I can think I'm ready for labor. I think I can, I can. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think, what, what, look, <laughs> look at that hat. You don't think I can be in the same room? Oh, I would. I mean, I, you, you still want me to hold your hand, right? Yeah. Okay. On that side of the right, pocket, right. I can't see that. I put $10 you pass out. out. So you can move his Go a little higher because you might win. <laughs> <laughs> 500 then, all right. All right, he's waking up pretty good. I'm not going to lie. After he took that flight out of that tank, I was wor worried that he wasn't going to make it after after uh, it definitely, it definitely looks definitely like anesthesia. So with these, man, you know, it's never like, we're never going to get 100% perfect. You know, it's it's always some fish you know you, you look back there it'll be a lot easier he had a lot of slime on him yeah probably because of the uh the fall uh, asian catching skills that it uh they didn't work out sorry kevin but you know we would uh oh and gary sorry and, and sam fajai sorry any any other fish you know like I, i've done different arowana it went a lot you know not as slimy and there was more fatty tissue this one had the, the fluid but you can see it's definitely not nowhere near as bad as it was before he could definitely look around better. He's coming back around. It's still a little bit there. I think it's a little um, puffy, maybe from you know, from him not. Some yeah. Too, yeah. So let's see how he's gonna look in, in a day. I think that went pretty good though, you know. I mean, yeah, I think high five, bro. High five. I think that was a good uh, hospital team over here. Yeah, we're a surgeon. Uh, we have our, our operating room. This is definitely not the hardest thing you have done. No. But the stories you told me. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I is... mean, this man right here is even going as far as, far as delivering babies in the ambulance. No, yeah. I, I couldn't do that. It gets, it gets a little crazy sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm what glad happens, you... What happens if it just happens at your house and then you're gonna... You're gonna you can call him. Yeah, I'll call him. Call. You know? This guy, look, he's coming around. He's up right. He's a little yeah. traumatized from this whole thing, you know, but... He got a little banged up. I mean, that's about a, uh, what do you say, like an eight-foot fall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would that hurt I mean, anyone. Don't, don't make me look that bad, but it's pretty much just getting into a car accident and go to surgery. Yeah, exactly. You know, so hopefully he'll come around. Yeah. Guys, sorry, I tried. You saw he jumped right behind my arm. Um, we never meant to hurt any fish. You know that. We love fish. But I'm glad you did it. It looks good. Hopefully you can get him back in your tank, or you might sell him because you might start a new... A new thing. So if you want a famous arowana that got hospitalized here, you'll be on the website soon. Very soon. Very. One of a kind right there. One of a kind. Think might be that. one eye soon. Yeah. <laughs> you might have one eye after this. So. Guys, thanks for watching. Now, we might have other surgeries here as well. And I'll just give you a call, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Like when we had um, Catch Em All pull out the pipe. 
from the red tail. He said he had a red tail before to swallow a uh, fake plant. So he opened his stomach, pulled him out, stitched it all up. I think that would be a great video. Yeah. I, I don't know if I can help you with that one, but I would definitely uh, hold the camera uh, if Lisa's not around. I'm going to need my crew. Okay. Yeah. Well, Linguini's already, his head's still light up, so he's good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. We're going to go fishing now. I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, thanks for the 5,000 likes. No. It, this, by the time this video goes, it's going to be 5,000 likes. I will get him the dress. Don't worry about it. See you next time.